everybody, welcome back to the Peebs channel. Today, I'm bringing to you the least viewed video we're ever gonna upload on the Peebs channel. Vegetable tier list! It's been a while since we did one of these tier list videos, so I figured I'd come back strong with the tier list everybody's been waiting for. Vegetables. <clears throat> uh... Let's go. We're starting with... What is this vegetable called again? Like, ar artichokes. Artichokes. It, it looks like an alien. Like, it came from an alien planet. F tier? B, A? I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty mixed. I actually think artichokes taste pretty good. But you also can eat them with butter. That's like how you eat them. What other vegetables do you dip in butter? That's gotta count for something. F tier, disgusting, whatever. It's not F tier. It can't be S or A though, because it's very inconvenient to eat. And you pull off one of the leaves and you bite it, and it's just like, there's like a, the leaf is like this big, and you get like this much vegetable out of it. Like just the bottom. Yeah, this, so they're kind of hit or miss. But they, they do taste pretty good. And uh, if you get a good one, dip it in butter, it's not bad. Alien fruit plant goes in C. C tier. I, I I think I actually sort of agree with chat and that it would the opinions were all over the place. So I'm putting it at, at, at average C. Just made it. Alright, what do we got next? What even is this? What is this like a bunch of little is this like a bunch of little sperms or something? Well, what, is, what do you mean, Roy? That's what it looks like. You can't judge me for this. That's what it looks like. What are these things? I don't even know anything about vegetables. We clearly have <laughs> and the expert, the vegetable expert here to prank all. Oh yeah, yeah, bean sprouts. We can tell you don't eat a lot of veggies. Look, shut up. Bean sprouts. What was that video that Chad and Chad Tronic and Ian were doing where they're watching some vegetable thing? I remember there was a bit about bean sprouts and, and that. Guys. Would you like fresh? Fresh or canned bean sprouts? Canned. Bean sprouts from a can or fresh? Fresh always? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to eat bean sprouts anyway, but I'm definitely not eating them out of a can. I, I have had bean sprouts before, and I mean, like, I guess the only possible scenario that they would be acceptable would be in, like, a salad. But if bean sprouts are in the salad, it's already making it worse than it would have already been. And it's already a salad. So let's be on, let's be real. It's got to go in D. It's lucky it's not an F. The only thing keeping it at D instead of F is that there's definitely some worse than that. There's definitely some worse. Oh, and I have some very controversial opinions. I have some very strong feelings about some of these. You gotta stick around and see. I'm telling you, this is gonna blow your mind. Where he ranks mushrooms will blow your mind. You will go absolutely bonkers crazy when you see where he ranks mushrooms. Put those sprouts in F? You, you guys think so? Uh, I'm looking at the other vegetables, and I think, honestly, I think you guys are right. It's gotta go in F. There's a couple that I, I definitely am gonna put in F, but I, I actually am listening. This, this is why I need you guys. This is why I need you guys here for this. F tier. Don't worry, Mr. President. Everything's under control. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! Alright, next we got beets. Beets. Okay, beets though. I used to think beets were only like my dad would eat these like candied beets and they were like slimy and wet. I guess he like pickled them or something. I thought that was the only like the only form. I thought that's how beets came out of the ground. They just came right up out of the ground like wet and slimy. But apparently beets are actually sort of they're just, they're just like a root vegetable. They are actually kind of remind me a little bit like carrots except they're dyed purple. They kind of gross me out a little bit if I think too hard about it while I eat them. But they're pretty good for you and they're not that bad. What is everyone else saying? Beets are good. F beet haters. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel that strongly about it, but I don't hate them. They kind of gross me out though, so I can't put them at A. So it's either, I think I'm going to put it at B. I feel like if you cook beets too long, they get a little bit too soft and I don't like it. But they're just a root vegetable. I mean, beets seem disgusting until you actually eat a, like a well-cooked beet. It's just honestly, it tastes like a carrot and they're good for you. I don't actually know for sure, but I feel like beets would like change Never mind. I, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I don't. I decided I don't want to go there on a live stream or a video, for that matter. Okay, they do. Okay, Toasty. Thank you. That's that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Too easy. Piece of cake. Okay, romaine lettuce. What do you guys? I, I'm curious. Before I say, what do you guys think about of romaine lettuce? A or S? S. 
B S plus plus. You guys are crazy. Romaine lettuce always has poop on it. That's why how people get E. coli. It's on. It's an F tier. I won't even eat romaine lettuce because they, that's how you get E. coli. You go to Chipotle and you order romaine lettuce. It's gonna it has little bits of poop on it that you can't see because they don't wash it well enough. And then you get E. coli. I'm not gonna hear any arguments about it. That's bok choy. Oh, wait, maybe you're right. That is bok choy. This is romaine lettuce. F tier. You guys think I'm overstepping my boundaries? You guys like poop lettuce? You guys honestly gonna go to bat for poop lettuce right now? It adds flavor, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this video so far? I do these tier lists usually on stream because I, I like to have chat's input. I just like arguing is actually the real reason why I do it. <laughs> But I need you guys do have some say in this. Is it unacceptable to put it in F? I feel very strongly about it. You won't unfollow, but you do disagree. That's fair. Tomato is a fruit. I'm not having that. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get to that later, though. Yeah, it's also boring. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep it at F. I'm pulling my authority, my streamer man authority. It's F. Touch that lever, Mr. President. Ah! All right, we will go to bok choy now. Now, bok choy is actually pretty good. You use it a lot in, like, Asian dishes, I feel like. Yeah, it's like Asian romaine, but probably doesn't have poop on it as much. What do you guys think about bok choy? It's not good? Ah, oh, man, I mean, I, I kind of like bok choy. Is it at the bottom of F? No, the spermies. <laughs> this day. What's bok choy? It's like a... It's a leafy... Leafy leaf. <laughs> that you... Vegetable expert here. I'm an authority in the vegetable industry. I think it's at B. It's it, it's a, or, or, sorry B. I like bok choy. It's a little like stringy, grainy. Is that the right word for it? At the at the bottom, sometimes it doesn't have the best texture, but I do like the taste. Plus, I mean anything that has bok choy, any dish that has bok choy in it is good. So it's it's at B. It's solid. Too easy. Piece of cake. Okay, guys, we've seen some weird vegetables so far. We got, you know, bean sprouts, alien plant, poop lettuce. We're coming, hitting you hard with the classic, the most popular vegetable at the party. We got broccoli. I feel good about broccoli, honestly. It's either S, S or A to me. I guess Chad could convince me. I'll put it at A for now. I mean, broccoli's legit. It actually is good. You can have it raw with ranch. You could have it raw by itself with no ranch if you're just a little sad that day. You could cook it. I mean, you any way you can prepare broccoli, it's good. You can put it in stir fries. You can put it in pasta. It's good for you. It has interesting texture because you got the leafy part at the top and you got like a more a solid crunchy stock at the bottom. Can go in almost anything. I think it's actually an S tier vegetable. I think it is. Can put it in the toilet? Oh, come on. You see, I feel like broccoli is the vegetable everybody, like, they make fun of in the cartoons when you were a kid. Like, did you eat your broccoli? Mom, I don't like broccoli. But, like, I never disliked broccoli. Even as a kid, I liked broccoli. I feel like broccoli is, most kids aren't grossed out by broccoli. Speak for yourself, motherfucker. Busting out of jail was no problem. And speaking of an OP vegetable, a really hard hitter that also gets a lot of flack for some reason. Uh, what are they called again? The little balls. The little leaf balls. What are they called again? Brussels sprouts! Brussels sprouts to F tier? Okay, I'm not- Okay, hear me out. Brussels sprouts, though. They're not bad. Sometimes they're a little bitter. A tier, they're bomb. I kind of agree with that. Not putting them in S tier because they are a little bitter sometimes. I'm seeing a lot of people, like, a lot of varying opinions uh, on this one. But it's another vegetable you can put in, like, pasta. You can chop it up, put it in salads. Some of my favorite salads have, br like, Brussels sprouts, like, chopped up really small in, in, into them. They smell of poop. What? Brussels sprouts don't smell of poop. I'm putting Brussels sprouts at A. I, I, I like the texture of Brussels sprouts. The texture of them is, is like... Like, you can eat them, like, bake them or fry them up or whatever and eat them whole. I mean, you got to chop off the, like, bottom part. But you can also chop them up and then it kind of changes the, it kind of changes the entire Brussels sprout experience, Brussels sprout expe experience. <laughs> it's like a, the, the Brussels sprout experience. That's a, that's a thing, right? What they taste like, peeps? Honestly, they actually are a little bit bitter. They're a little bit bitter, which is why I like to have them with, like, in a dish. Like, cooked in with other things. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, consider not cooking them bad, you noob. True. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, but true. I like Brussels sprouts. I'm keeping them up there. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, try a salad that has Brussels sprouts cut up in it. I think, I think you'll like it. Raw Brussels sprouts cut up into the salad. It really adds, like, 
some density. I don't really know food words, but it definitely adds some density. Some soli- so, so it solidifies the salad with a little bit more- a little bit more, uh, you know, substance into each bite. Vegetable expert here, uh, Brussels sprouts. Ade. That was cool! All right, next we have, what is this, just like, lettuce, regular lettuce? Like, oh, this is cabbage! Dude! That's all that needs to be said. S tier. Cabbage is so good. What? You guys don't, you don't agree? People don't like cabbage? Dude, there's not enough vegetable discussion happening in this stream, apparently, because I, I, did, I didn't know that people didn't like cabbage this much. S tier, I'm glad some of you are agreeing with me here. F tier toasty, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Get him out of here. Get Toasty out of here. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. His opinion on all these have been wrong every time. My audience is terrible. Sorry to break it to you. I, tell me something I don't know, Shane. Oh, uh, I mean, I try not to say it out loud too often, but I mean, <laughs> I already knew that. And it's not even because their vegetable uh, opinions are bad. They've got bad opinions all around, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, cabbage is great. You can, you can put it in salads. You can put it in a bowl and eat it. You know what? I'm actually gonna put it at A. Oh, but you can put it on tacos, though. It's good on tacos, but it's not good boiled. But you can put it on tacos. I'll put it at A. Because cabbage isn't that good cooked. It's mostly good raw, which is, it's nice to have a vegetable that you, you eat raw, but it doesn't have as much variety in the ways that you eat it, I feel like. Are you guys still mad at my romaine lettuce opinions? Those aren't changing. All right, let's move on to peppers. We got green, red, and yellow peppers. I used to hate peppers a lot as a kid. It was on my big three of vegetables that I hated when I was a kid. My opinions on this has changed, so you, this is not spoilers. This is not vegetable spoilers. But I used to hate wow. onions, peppers, yeah. and tomatoes. Those used to be my big three hates as a kid. I don't hate peppers anymore. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. They're good in stir fries, good in Asian food. They're not actually not that bad if you eat them raw. I'll sometimes eat them on pizza too, as long as you have like ham or pepperoni on there or something. Peppers are not bad, but I don't love them. I could be convinced to put them higher than C. You know what? I, I, I realized that peppers weren't that gross when I was working at a pizza place and I had to cut up all the raw peppers and I like ate a piece off of it one time. I didn't use, I didn't put that in the thing. I, I, I was very sanitary, by the way. I, I am, uh, if anything, over sanitary. I used to get in trouble because I took too long to wash the dishes. But other people weren't doing a good enough job, okay? I was being thorough. I didn't want to cook you guys' pizzas in dirty pans. But yeah, anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Peppers are at C. <laughs> B for bell peppers? Mm, you know what? I actually will move it at B, but under beets and bok choy. You know what? No, it doesn't stand with beets and bok choy. That just doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. It's at C. Ahead of alien fruit, though. Just made it. Oh, boy! Here it comes! The best vegetable around carrots! That's a big S! That's a big S! Make a big S! I don't know how to make an S! Carrots! They've got two... How many guesses are in carrots? One. It's got one S. That's why it's at S. I couldn't remember how to spell carrots for a second. And I can't spell in my head. There's not a whole lot going on up there. Okay, tell me you guys, you guys agree, right? Best with ranch? Yeah, yeah, I actually prefer my carrots cooked, but they are good with ranch for sure. Carrots are sexy. I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm glad someone else did. Mediocre? I mean, we're talking about vegetables here. <laughs> Note, they're all mediocre. Carrots are good too because you can put them in almost anything. Pasta, uh, you can put them in stew. Oh my god, dude, stew with carrots? You can put it in curry? It's a must in curry. A must. You can even put carrots in cake. What can you not put carrots into? Nothing. Smoothie, yeah, you can put them in smoothies. Dude, I go to uh, Jamba Juice sometimes. You can put carrots in orange juice. And if anything, it kind of makes it taste better because the oranges are so sweet. You mix the carrot in there, it's a little healthier. Carrots are just the best. It also helps your eyesight. True. I definitely knew that. Why is my eyesight so bad then? I have actually terrible eyesight. I'm basically legally blind without contacts. That's a myth? Oh, well, there you go. Toasty, stop spreading misinformation on my, my chest. 
chat, okay? It makes pot roast better? Oh, yeah. Carrots have to be in there. Carrots are just so good. They're the best. I'm serious. It's gonna be hard for anything to top it. There's one clear candidate that could pass it, but I haven't really decided yet. Come and get some. All right, moving on to cauliflower. I like cauliflower. It doesn't really taste like anything, though. Cauliflower is kind of like mashed potatoes. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not as good as mashed potatoes. But, like, mashed potatoes don't really taste like any... Well, they more, like, absorb the flavor of whatever you make it with. I love the texture of cauliflower, though. The texture of cauliflower is so unique. You can make a cauliflower as, like, a substitute for a lot of different things if you're trying to eat healthy. Cauliflower is broccoli's lame cousin. Yeah, it kind of is. It kind of is kind of true. But I like it. I like it. I'm actually gonna put it at B. It's just such an unoffensive vegetable. Is it better than bok choy? I'm gonna put it under bok choy. I'm gonna put it above bok choy, actually. I, I, bok choy, the texture of bok choy is sometimes weird to me. And beets, I still like beets, but sometimes I get a little grossed out when I eat them. I don't know why. I, like, get a little gaggy if I eat too many beets. That's my, uh... <laughs> expert vegetable opinion. Uh, when you eat beets, sometimes you get a little gaggy. It just is what it is. All right, yeah, B. Hi, B for cauliflower. Too easy. Piece of cake. All right, moving on to celery. Before I actually move on to my opinions about celery, did you guys, when you were a kid, did your, like, mom or teacher or whatever ever try and make you eat celery with peanut butters and raisin on top of it? Please tell me I'm not the only one that was subjected to this horror. Yeah, peanut butter. Yeah, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Peanut butter inside the celery with raisins on top. Who invented that? What kid has ever liked that? Ants on a log. Yeah, that's what they call it. What kid has ever liked that? Like, I would just take the raisins off and eat the peanut butter out of it. And then toss the celery to, like, a bunny rabbit or something. Like, celery kind of sucks, honestly. Celery is bitter. I don't really like the texture. And why has it got all that leafy stuff on the top if you don't even eat it? It's stupid. I will say, though, celery is okay if it's, like cooked into stew soups i don't really mind it and if it's mixed with a bunch of other stuff it's not that bad it, that's the thing about celery is it's not the most off-putting taste it just doesn't taste good yeah and it's pretty much the only acceptable uh way to eat it to me is in a stew i'm gonna put it at d it's just there it's just there whatever i feel like that's not too controversial it's not to me it's not f it's not f to me it, it, but it's it's definitely i mean i could maybe put it at c but i'm putting it at d too high for celery Oof, you guys are harsh on celery i feel like celery's not that that off putting. We haven't gotten to some of the ones I really don't like yet. Just made it. Uh, okay. What is this? A chili pepper? What, is, what kind of pepper is this? Like a spicy pepper? What is this? This isn't a jalapeno, is it? Jalapenos are green. Is it a jalapeno? It's a chili? It's some kind of spicy pepper. You disqualify the chili? Why? It's a vegetable. I mean, no one just eats spicy peppers on their own. Spicy peppers, which but which automatically make, like kind of rules it out for SRA to me. You don't just eat it. I mean, you can, but why would you? But it's very good for flavoring, and I love spicy stuff. Uh, I, I don't have too much to say about uh, the chili. I'm just gonna put it at B and be done with it. I, it's, it's annoying me that some of these are cropped out and some of them aren't. It's bothering me. I only just now noticed and now I won't be able to unnotice. Yeah, I'll put I, I'll put chili chili pepper there. I mean, you can't get rid of it. It's essential for certain like spicy spicy Asian dishes. You can chop up a uh, chili pepper and put some in the stew. I actually like to do that also. But you know, eh, it's it's whatever. It just is what it is. Too easy. Piece of cake. Okay. Corn! I want to know chat's opinion on corn. Corn is kind of perfect. Corn is bad on its own. Overrated? S, 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 A. I've seen a lot of S's. Here's one thing about corn, though. Corn is actually really bad for you. And if you're gonna eat a vegetable, it's already gonna not be that good, probably. So it has to at least be good for you, right? I mean, I wouldn't even have any of these at S, except for carrot, if it wasn't good for you. I mean, why would you wouldn't eat any of this if it wasn't good for you? Does that factor in? To me, it does a little bit but you can put it in cereal you make cereal out of it and corn is really good and it's very it's super versatile dude corn is amazing you can yeah you can pop it turn it into cornbread you can turn it into like freaking captain crunch you can put it in a stew you can put it in a salad you can do anything with corn you can just put butter on it eat it on the cob with some salt pepper pepper that baby up and just go blah, 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 blah. i mean corn is great i am going to put it at s i am I no nah. okay yeah I'm leaving it there corn is really good it's not good for you though so I can't put it above like carrots or broccoli it sucks to have a vegetable that's not good for you that's all that's all I'm saying I will put it at s like you guys are saying I do think you're right about that even logically because you can use corn for almost anything it's nuts but it's not good for you so it can't be at the top 
So this is what the inside of a pyramid looks like. All right, cucumber. Cumes. Where are we putting cumes? I actually like cucumbers a lot. They don't blow me out of the out of the water. Is that a phrase? <laughs> is that a phrase? I don't I think I made that up. They don't blow me. Cumes don't blow me or anything. Uh <laughs> Cucumbers, they're just, I mean, they're watery. If you're thirsty, you can just eat a cucumber. They can become pickles, which actually lowers the ranking to me because pickles suck. Uh, unless they're sweet pickles, I have very unpopular pickle opinions. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I knew that was coming. I'm gonna put them in B, high B, high B. Good on sandwiches too. So there you go. Too easy, piece of cake. Eggplant. I actually don't like eggplant very much. I want to like eggplant, but I don't. This is our sworn enemy. Oh, wow. You can make eggplant parmesan out of it. It's so good. But then it's like, well, why am I not just eating chicken parmesan instead? Why did you give me the squishy, like, weird skin, hard skin on the outside, gushy mush in the middle? They're not good. They're just not good. And I don't care what you guys say. I'm putting them at D tier. You know what? There's no saving grace. There's no saving grace. But the, yeah, the emoji jokes. That's true. Eggplants are really significant in Japan for, like, some imagery some like metaphor or something right i'm always seeing eggplants pop up in anime i'm almost afraid to ask why yeah they do make funny funny meme emojis though that's true you guys so actually i'm putting it under i'm putting it under um what do you call it? the sticks the vegetable sticks it's under those d nice just made it all right, we got drink beans or whatever. Uh, I mean, drink beans or whatever. They're pretty good. They're good in stew. Very inoffensive, but they don't like blow you out of the water or anything. I said that twice. I can't say that twice. What's another metaphor? They don't blow me. <laughs> I can't think of anything on the spot. They don't knock my socks off. Yeah. They don't tickle my fancy. <laughs> They're not the bee's knees, one could say. They don't tickle my, tickle my balls. That's not one. <laughs> That's not a phrase. They don't jimble my jeebs. You know, they're just a bee. I'll put them above bok choy. Too easy. Piece of cake. Okay, here's where the real juicy opinions start coming in. Here's what you clicked on this video for. The controversial vegetable takes that you came here to see. Here they are right now. Kale is an S tier. Shut the heck up if you say otherwise. I was raised in the South, okay? And everybody makes fun of kale. LOL, hippie vegetable. They always make fun of kale. Like, it's like it's some kind of cultural thing. And I guess for a while, I guess I was like, oh, kale's not good. It's stupid. That's what everybody says. And then I tried kale. You guys need to get out of your cultural bubble. Kale is good. It's not just lettuce. It's not. It, it's more substantial than lettuce. It's, 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 it's thicker than lettuce and thicker i don't know veg like i can't i don't know food terms it's more substantial just go out there try a kale salad with like chicken a good dressing it's the bomb dude it, kale is so good and it is good for you too it's good for you and yeah you can cook it savory also i don't really like it cooked that much for the record but it is decent cooked it's certainly better than spinach cooked anything you could put like spinach in kale tastes better so you're i assume if you're eating kale or spinach you're looking for something healthy like a healthy leaf so you don't want lettuce because lettuce is just mostly water. So you want to get like a leafy vegetable. What it? What is? What do you, can you use spinach with that kale isn't better? I'm waiting. Spinach is better. Spinach is slimy. Sandwiches? No, kale is great on sandwiches. I mean, I guess that's uh, yeah. Maybe sandwiches. Maybe spinach is better for sandwiches. I mean, am I wrong? There's very few vegetables that I I ordered like. A restaurant like I, I went to this restaurant and ordered a kale salad I also ordered french fries <laughs> I ordered a salad and french fries because I couldn't decide I ate the kale salad I don't even remember what it was they had this sweet dressing with like almonds and chicken and I don't even remember what else it was mostly kale though it was like one of the best things I ever ate it was so good I'm sorry guys you came here for the controversial takes you're getting it your boy is a hippie he's putting kale at s no questions asked what you see is what you get. Just a piece of cake. Okay, here is the most controversial opinion so far. Mushrooms, brace yourselves. 
The hot takes are coming out. Mushrooms, bottom F tier. Bottom F. I won't hear other opinions on it. It's a literal fungus. They don't taste good. They don't taste good raw. They don't taste good cooked. Unsubscribed. I don't care. I'm dying on this hill. Mushrooms are disgusting. I hate mushrooms. It's one of the only things I won't eat. I will eat literally anything on here. Like, what is this slimy gunk? I don't even know what that is. I'd eat it. I'm not eating a mushroom. I'm ready to take the fire. I'm ready to take the bullets for all the other mushroom haters. Because this is the official vegetable tier list. So this is going out. The government is going to take this tier list. They're going to send it out to all the schools. And they're going to teach everybody the glory of carrots and how fungus mushrooms Garbage tier, F tier. I feel very strongly about mushrooms. All right. We ordered from the steak place because it was a holiday. It was 420, the second best holiday of the year. So I ordered this chicken thing. It has like cheese and bacon and like honey mustard on the top. I had ordered it before and I forgot to take off one thing that they had on there. I took a bite of the chicken and I was like, mmm, mmm. What's that? There were mushrooms hidden under the cheese. I still ate it, but I did take all the mushrooms off. Very bad. Not good. Would never order again. It was cruel. Yeah, you can't hide mushrooms under a bunch of cheese. Admittedly, it was kind of hard to taste at first because there's so many strong flavors. The bacon and the cheese and the like honey mustard. And I was like, mmm. I've grown up though. I've grown up. If I was a kid, I would have vomited. Didn't vomit, but I did take them all off. My opinion was correct. It always is, but thank you for uh, confirming. Uh, all right, what do we got next? Is this okra? Is this what okra looks like? W like when it comes out of the ground or wherever okra comes from? Okra is weird, dude. I I've never actually eaten okra except for fried okra. People in the South will sometimes fry okra. Yeah, what is an okra? I feel like th I feel like a lot of people probably don't even know what okra is. It's nasty. It's not that good. Pickled okra? Ugh. I wouldn't say okra is an F because I've had it fried and it actually was okay fried. I mean, it has batter on it, so how bad could it be fried with batter? But I mean, I've never even seen anyone else try to eat it any other way so i can't imagine okra is really very good i'm gonna put it at d i'm gonna put it under eggplant it's a very weird tasting vegetable that doesn't really get used for very many things if you like yeah never even heard of okra exactly it's at d just made it all right we're moving on to onions onions as i mentioned earlier when i was a kid were on my big three the big three gross vegetables, peppers, onions, tomatoes. I didn't even know how bad mushrooms were at the time. Onions are kind of off-putting to me. I don't really like them, like, especially if you cook them, like, uh, what is it called? What is it called when you fry onions up? It's a uh, caramelized, yeah. I hate caramelized onions. I really, really don't like caramelized onions. But raw onions, very good. Like a chili dog with some fresh-cut raw white onions. And I, I will sometimes eat them. I'll eat them in stews, stuff like that. Onions are used for almost everything which is why as a kid it was very hard to not like onions because onions are in like almost everything i'm not sure where to put it though it's got it can't be low it can't be low because onions are just such a important vegetable for cooking they're used for flavor flavor for like almost everything i think they have to be at least an a they have to be an a i'm actually putting my personal opinions a little bit aside on, on this and just being objective onions are at least a tier you would could probably you should probably put them in s but certain forms of onions are really off-putting to me so i I'm going to personally put it at, at, at A. That was cool. Still angry mushrooms are the lowest of F. You better get used to it. Nothing's going under that. Nothing's going under that. All right, let's move on. We got peas, not string. I guess these were string beans or whatever. These are like green peas. Green peas, I mean, they're fine. They're fine. One of the most bland, just like basic vegetables. Pea soup. Actually, you're right. I freaking love split pea soup, dude. I love split pea soup. You know what? Peas are good, dude. You can put peas in soup, stews. You can put them in salads. You can mash them up, feed them to little babes. <laughs> peas are great. The more I think about it, the more I like peas. Let's move these around like that. Split peas are not peas. Split peas are legumes. They're completely different. <gasps> Controversy. Oh, well. <laughs> Still leaving it. 
That was cool! All right, the big boy showing up. The party can officially start. Potato is here, dude. Potato, baby. Mmm, okay. Where on S does potato go? That's the question. It's not where do we put it on the tier list. It's where in S do we put it? Uh, yeah, it's easily asked. No question. It's not that good for you, which I guess we can keep into account. But I mean, French fries, mashed potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. However you prefer your potatoes. There's no bad ways. Potato chips. But is it better than carrots? Can you make a cake out of it? Potato cake? I stand carrots, but I'm struggling to come up with anything to put it above carrots. Not better than carrots or broccoli. I mean, if you're taking health into account, that's really the only way you can argue. Potatoes are too powerful. They are. And yeah, hash browns too. You can eat potatoes with ketchup. Tabasco. You can put them in... in in, in, in casseroles. You can put them in soups. Baked potato, that's true. Okay, it's more like what dishes can you not put potatoes in? Yeah, I mean french fries. D that, that's all you need to say, french fries. It's S tier, top of the top. No questions asked. Yes, yes, yes! Pumpkin? Is pumpkin a vegetable? I don't know why I always thought of pumpkin as a fruit. I mean, it's clearly not. <laughs> it's clearly not a fruit. Pumpkin is not a veggie. Okay, I'm Googling. Uh, um, what am I searching for again? Why are you the way that you are? Yeah, I mean, it has seeds, so it's not a vegetable, right? Uh, I don't think we have to rank it. I, I, think, I don't think it's a veggie. We're not ranking it. You already rated like three things that have seeds. Yeah, I don't care, though. <laughs> I don't care. But pumpkin spice? <laughs> That's true. But pumpkin spice. All right. Turnips. Oh, boy. My turnips reached the third level there. Growth cycle. Uh, turnip is good. I don't like turnips cooked, though. Turnips cooked are kind of gross. So they ca they gotta be raw and, or, like, put in a salad or something. Which really, to me, limits it. And I think I'm gonna put them at C. I don't have too many strong opinions about turnips. They're sometimes a little bit too bitter. I'm putting turnips at C. Oh, boy! My turnips reach the third level of their growth cycle! Oh, wait, no. These are... Oh! These are radishes. Whatever. I meant what I said about them anyway, because I know I've, I've eaten these. I thought that... I always want to call them turnips, but you guys are right. They're radishes. Might be. Vegetable experts make mistakes sometimes, too. Okay. Caught me some slack. All right. We got to pick it up. What? What is this? What even is this? Oh, it's a rhubarb. Okay. So these are rhubarb. Stupid. F. I thought it may be some kind of joke. But this isn't funny. What is this? Seaweed? It's literally seaweed? Dude, people eat seaweed? No, get out of here. What the? What? Seaweed sucks. It's salty? Well, yes, yeah, because it's from the ocean. It's got the ocean salt on it. You guys don't know anything. All right, spinach is next. I like spinach, but I don't love it. I think I'm going to put it at B, but it can be off-putting. I really don't like cooked spinach. Cooked spinach is gross to me. Raw spinach is fine, especially in a salad, but spinach is like the kind of vegetable. You know what? I'm not even going to put it. I got to put it... Um. There, under bok choy. Actually, I think I like it more than bok choy. Spinach is the kind of vegetable that I'll just eat just because it's healthy. I, do you guys do this sometimes? Where I, I, I do this a lot. I like to fancy myself as like someone who is health conscious. But in reality, I'm not at all. <laughs> I'm not at all. I literally had a ham and cheese hot pocket before starting this stream. But what I will do is I'll buy like spinach. And then randomly throughout the day, I'll think, Ugh, I really should eat something healthy. And so I'll just grab like a ham handful of spinach and just shove it in my mouth eat it as fast as possible and then go on with my day and be like i ate vegetables it's just like kind of get it over with you know like you know if you got like a band-aid on your hair you just rip it off as fast as possible i do I, that, that's how i eat a lot of my vegetables and spinach is great for that it's easy it goes down fast it's not super off-putting it's at b too easy piece of cake Oh, yeah, here we go. Sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are good. Another thing that you can kind of make sweet if you want, like you can put cinnamon, butter on it or something like that, or you can make it savory, good in stews, good in lots of other kinds of dishes. I don't guess you could eat it raw, could you? I mean, it would be, it's too hard, but good baked. Baked sweet potato is very good. Uh, I mean, you can just bake a sweet potato, put butter on it and like cut some slices in it, put butter on it, melt it in there. It's good with the skin even. Sweet potatoes are good. I'm going to put them at A. I'm not going to put them at s but i do really like sweet potatoes they're totally s you know i'm feeling generous 
I will put it at S. Well, I'm willing to admit when I'm wrong. It's an S. Mashed sweet potatoes? Yeah, th those are good. Sweet potato casserole for Thanksgiving? Not healthy at all because you put a lot of sugar in it. But sweet potato casserole is really good. Although, you can miss me with the marshmallows. Don't put marshmallows on top of sweet potato casserole. It's sweet enough already. Give me the thick layer of pecans on my sweet potato casserole. Thank you very much. Miss me with the mush with the marshmallows. I didn't say marshmallows are bad, but they're just not good on sweet potato casserole. I, I don't like it on sweet potato casserole. I mean, I guess realistically, the only way I'll eat marshmallows is like in hot chocolate. Maybe in like some certain kinds of candy or something. But come on, guys. Sweet potato casserole with pecans. It's a must have dish for Thanksgiving. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. This whole thing is a TED Talk. <laughs> well, imagine a TED Talk. I'm just sitting up there on stage, the TED stage, and I'm just like ranking. No, no, mushrooms suck. They suck. Mushrooms are bad. You guys know what you're talking about. <laughs> Carrot cake. Carrot cake, though. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I mean, I've seen some really weird TED Talks before. Maybe anything could be a TED Talk now. This is my TED Talk. It's just a vegetables tier list. Huh, I'll show them some mad skills. Just give me three minutes to touch that lever. All right, tomato. Do we rank tomato? I know it's a fruit technically, but do we care? I mean, tomato's a vegetable, guys. Let's not think too hard about it. We're ranking tomatoes. The question is, where does it go? A raw tomatoes, I don't really like raw tomatoes. I will eat raw tomatoes on a burger if I want the burger to be a little healthier. I don't really like raw tomatoes, though. On a sandwich, probably not. Maybe if it's thin with like a lot of turkey, I might eat it on a sandwich. But you make, you can make some so many good things out of tomatoes though. Spaghetti sauce, ketchup, salsa. I mean, just that alone makes it pretty good, right? I've got to put it at A. It's a fruit, but yeah, I don't care. I just decided, I just decided I could personally have it at B, but I mean, I love spaghetti sauce and I love ketchup. It's just tomatoes by themselves I don't really like, but they're so useful for other stuff. To me, it's kind of the same as onions where I like, I don't really like it on its own, but it's so useful for other things that it just has to be ranked top to me. Rank the pumpkin. All right, fine. There, I ranked it. Is that F? You asked for this. F, all right, I mean, I'll put it at D, I guess. I mean, it's over there with okra. Are you happy now? Just made it. Oh, zucchini. Zucchini sucks F tier. You zucchini? Zucchini's good though. Zucchini's good. You guys are nuts. Zucchini's good raw or cooked. Yeah, zook zoo is good. Zucchini is good. I think it's better than cucumber. It's more flavorful than cucumber. And you can even eat certain things that you would eat with cucumber. You can kind of just replace it with zucchini. At least I do. But I thought I like zucchini. I'm putting it B tier. There we go. Too easy. Piece of cake. Okay, so does this look good? What 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 needs changing? I'm taking opinions. Move romaine, dude. I'm not moving poop lettuce. It's lucky that it's not down there with the fungus. Romaine lettuce is down there where it belongs with the weird spermy beans, the slimy seaweed, and the fungus. That's where poop lettuce r belongs. E. coli leaf is at F. It doesn't even taste good anyway. You could just have kale or spinach instead. E. coli adds to the flavor though. E. coli leaf for S tier. E. coli leaf for S tier. Zook makes me gag. <laughs> You're not eating it right. Asparagus, you're right, where's asparagus? I forgot, asparagus is not here. Asparagus is S tier. I'm serious, I love asparagus. Asparagus, I'm putting above broccoli. It's theoretically, because we don't have it here, it's it's above broccoli at S tier. I love asparagus. It's stringy, makes your piss smell. Well, you don't, you don't eat the part of the asparagus that's stringy. You cut that off, you snap it. You snap it, it's satisfying, cook it up, it's good. Asparagus. Does make your pee smell weird though, that's true. We'll end with that, I think. Let me know in the comments if you disagree. I know there will be some strong uh, disagreements, I'm sure, in the comments, but let me hear it. Hey, wait! Don't hold back. Don't hold back. Let me know what you're thinking. And uh, if you want to see more stupid, pointless tier lists like this, yeah, give the video a like. If you want to see a more typical tier list, then you can check out the uh, video game console tier list. I think it was actually the first Peebs video that we did, like that Toasty edited before we rebranded this channel to Peebs. So check that out. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Fruit tier list. If the people demand it, we will bring the fruit tier list. We have to get 5,000 likes on this video, and we'll do fruit tier list. You want those fruits? Let's see the likes. Don't hold back.